Welcome back to the channel, people. Hit the like button, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. So let's talk about Leon Bailey. We all saw the interview yesterday, right? Today is the game against the United States in the CONCACAF Nations League semi-final. And Mr. Leon Bailey decided that it would be best to drop a video like that one day before the game. Now, Leon Bailey likes to talk about commitment and the love for the national team and the Jamaican people. Wasn't this the same Leon Bailey that held the national team at hostage because they would have never included or they wouldn't include Cal Butler and the senior men's national team? When we all knew from birth that Cal Butler was not good enough to represent Jamaica in the men's senior team. He wasn't good enough. Kyle Butler was never at the level of Leon Bailey, right? So how could he have represented the national team at that moment in time? Kyle Butler is the same failed footballer who went on for numerous amount of years posting, oh, should I return to football? Should I return to football? What football are you returning to, Kyle Butler? Those days are long gone. But Leon Bailey held the national team at hostage, the JFF especially, so that you could have represented Jamaica. And, and Leon Bailey, that's talk about commitment. What commitment is that? How committed are you when you're leaving your men in battle to go up against the United States without you? And I say that to say that Leon Bailey is basically saying that regardless if he was not suspended, he would have rejected the call-up. But no, because Hargrims is suspended you, Leon Bailey, you are trying to shift the narrative that you were going to take a break regardless of the situation that's what you're saying so it doesn't matter to you so you're telling me after beating canada in a historic moment you were deciding to put up your boots for a period of time and not play against the united states if you receive that call up that's what you're telling the jamaican people Leon Bailey, but you like to talk about commitment and the love for you, the love you have for the country i thought you were one of our best players i thought you were the star boy of the jamaican national team but you're not. You like to complain about the pitches, right? Whenever you play on good pitches, you still don't perform. Demar Agri has done more for the national team and has brought more joy to the Jamaican football fans than what you have ever brought to us, Leon Bailey. You talk about you, you're shedding light on the national team. The national team does not need your light, Leon Bailey. You do not shed any light on the national team. The reggae boys will always be the reggae boys. The name, the, the, name, the reggae boys has been in existence for a long period of time. We've had our fair share of struggles, yes. The JFF is not perfect. And the JFF should get beaten. Right? But Reggae Boys, back in 1998, played in the World Cup. Right? The name the Reggae Boys is a very prestigious name across football. Not globally, but it is still a name that people do respect. When you talk about the reggae boys, you talk about Jamaica, reggae music, the culture, right? So what are you talking about shedding light on Jamaica or the national team? Oh, I can't tell the last time I went somewhere and somebody doesn't recognize me. I feel vulnerable when I go out. I don't have security. Leon Bailey, you're not Lionel Messi. You're not Ronaldo. I'm not saying you're not a well-accomplished person. But you should not be treated better than, but better than anyone else on the team. Why doesn't Demaria Gray have security? Why doesn't Mikel Antonio have security? And they've been playing in the Premier League longer than you have played in the Premier League, Leon Bailey. Mikel Antonio recently won the, 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 the European trophy for the, um, the, the one below Europa League. Right? The Conference League. What trophy have you ever won in your life, Leon Bailey? Why doesn't Mikel Antonio have security when he represents the national team? Why should you get preferential treatment from the JFF? You haven't done anything for the Jamaican national team to get any form of preferential treatment from the, the, the Jamaican people. You think you're special because you play for Aston Villa? You saying Bolt, Shelley and Fraser Price and these people have represented Jamaica well at the international stage. What have you done, Leon Bailey? Shemar Nicholson and these people have done more for the national team than, one, that, that, than what you have done. I come talking about... Oh, I'm not security, I'm a feel people are push up camera and I'm a fierce. Ray, ray, ray. You're not free to represent the national team. I say, I want Jamaica win today. I want Jamaica win today and go to the final. We don't need the Leon Bailey. 
the sentiments of the Jamaican people are that you do not perform for the national team. So how can they miss you when you don't perform? You feel so you're special because you come from Phoenix Academy and, and, and uh, Kirk Butler. Big up to Kirk Butler still. Done a wonderful job. Did a video about him recently praising him. Check it out, people. But remember, say so you're the same man, Leon Bailey, will come, come, come arms us the thing and, and, and party shop up the thing, but you not represent the country because Kirk Butler not come play for the country. Remember that. Remember that. And you want to come talk about commitment. How committed can you be when you've abandoned your men in war? How committed are you? You're no leader, Leon Bailey. You think you're a leader? You're no leader. What kind of leader leaves his men in war? One for all and all for one, Leon Bailey. You're no bigger than the Jamaican national team. Face your suspension and stand up like a man you come doing an interview. You think say so you're serious if you're not Lionel Messi or Zlatan Ibrahimovic? Yo, get your house in order, Leon Bailey, and don't make it. Hey, boy. Get your house in order and, and represent the nation well whenever you get the opportunity again. You come talk about taking break from the national team just because Hal Grimms is suspending you. You're coming to try to shift the narrative and the goalposts. You've never done nothing for the national team talking about when you've ever represented Jamaica with only last three games. Leon Bailey, the vast majority of those games you've never performed in. You've never been the difference maker for Jamaica. Demar Agree come represent Jamaica recently and has been a bigger difference maker than what you have than what you have ever been in the, your whole entire career representing Jamaica. So what are you talking about, Leon Bailey? Don't even get started for your youth. At the same Aston Villa fans, they want to kick you out with their Aston Villa. Mayor people have come talk about yesterday about Leon Bailey fill up Aston Villa Stadium. Which stadium Leon Bailey fill up Aston Villa when Aston Villa have been a big club before and have big baller before? Come talk about Leon Bailey fill up stadium. Hey, people, get off of your high ass and start respect the thing, no man. Start respect the Jamaican national team, you know. Oh, people, leave a touch in the comment section and smash the like button. I'm to, I'm to some people, man.